So let's work through an example using the Lorentz transformation. And to do so, I'm going to return to this particular example of a two observer diagram that we used earlier in this unit. So there we had an event E in space time, and we read directly off of the um, graph the space time coordinates in the unprimed frame x equals 3, t equals 5, written here. And then we estimated the um, primed coordinate values by drawing parallel lines. Let's use um, algebra, the Lorentz transformations, to see if we can get numbers that are uh, pretty close. So let's see here. In this example, we have a beta of 2 fifths. We have a beta is 2 over 5. And let me calculate gamma, because we're going to need that. That's 1 over 1 minus beta squared square root. And we've calculated this before. You can do it with fractions. But eventually, you're going to need a calculator 2 fifths. I'm going to square that, make that negative, add 1 equals square root 1 over x and I get around 1.09. So that's something we can evaluate on a calculator, and I did that by just plugging in 2 fifths, or 0.4, in for beta. All right, so let's see. So what do we know? We know in this problem that x equals 3 seconds, t is 5 seconds. So we know the t and x coordinates in the unprimed frame, and we want to use the Lorentz transformations to figure out the primed values. So I'm going to use this form of the equations, because I know x and t, x and t, and I want to figure out x prime and t prime. So I'm going to just copy over the Lorentz transformations first. x prime is gamma x minus beta t t prime is gamma minus beta x plus t. So just copying over those. And now let's plug in and see what we get. Uh, I guess I'll do x prime first. x prime is gamma, that's 1.09. x is 3. Beta is 2 fifths, or so I'll write that as 0 0.4. T is 5. And then this is something we can do on a calculator. So let's evaluate this. 5 times 0.4 is that. Probably could have done that without a calculator. Make that negative, add 3 to it, uh, multiply by 1 point. Uh, okay, let's try this again. 0.4 times 5 is 2. Make you negative. Add 3 to you equals times 1.09, and that should be 1.09. All right, let's do t prime. Again, we just plug in. t prime is gamma, 1.09, minus beta x minus 0.4x plus t. All right, let's see what the calculator tells me. Uh, 0.4 negative times 3 equals plus 5 equals times 1.09, and I get 4.1. Seconds. Okay, so we got pretty similar numbers here. Um, our estimate was really was pretty pretty good for um, for uh, t prime, and for x prime we had 0 0.8. That's the number that we estimated here, and apparently the exact number is 1.09. So it looks to me like maybe. Yeah, I can kind of see it when, when I drew this. 
this um, dashed line isn't quite parallel to the solid line. Probably should have moved it over that way a little bit to the right, which would have given a slightly larger value for X prime. All right. So again, this illustrates the Lorentz transformations. Given space-time coordinates in one reference frame, we can convert to the space-time coordinates in another reference frame.